Thanks for stopping by to check out the second half of our 100 pounds weight loss secrets collab between Life Health Now and Keto in the Chaos. I'm really glad you stopped by. Alika is such a great person. I love her family. I love her children. I love watching her work out because she's so motivating to me. One of these days I'm going to be like her. I'm going to be a workout queen. Um, we both have different ways and different um, ideas about how to lose weight, but we've both been really successful. So I hope that our collab here has given you some tips and tricks that you can try to help you lose your 100 pounds. So let's get started on the second half of our tips and tricks. Take it away, Ailika. Number six, do you still drink alcohol on your weight loss journey? I do. <laughs> I drink every week. I probably have one, maybe two glasses of wine a week, red wine. Um, and red wine is actually fairly low in carbs. I think it's like two, maybe three car carbs per glass. So I make sure I fit that into my carb count every week. And then if I go to a, a friend's house, a party, get together, something like that, which, you know, twice a year, right? It's not like, it's not like I'm hitting up the parties every week. I've got four kids, come on. Um, but if I do go, um, I'll get a Captain Morgan with um, Diet Coke. So, you know, and that's like one car. So, you know, I, I still stick to keto um, and, and have my, my glass of wine or, or rum and Diet Coke here and there. Now, what I will say is that when you are in ketosis, you have to watch your, your, um, you have to watch your alcohol intake because um, alcohol hits you a lot faster in ketosis. Uh, take it from someone who didn't realize that when I first started. <laughs> um, and so you got to make sure that you're, you're really monitoring it. So that's why I won't usually have more than like one drink when I do drink, but um, maybe two in the same day. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to have, you know, three and four drinks. That's just, it's not, it's not worth it. <laughs> um, it's not a good idea when you're in ketosis. Well, that's an easy question for me because I don't drink alcohol at all. Um, I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, or the Mormons, and we don't drink alcohol, so I've never drank at all in my life. So, I don't drink on my weight loss journey. <laughs> number Question number seven. Do you prefer energy drinks, coffee, or pre-workout? Um, is there a none of the above option? Uh, let's see. I don't really work out, so I don't take pre-workout. A lot of them have exogenous ketones, which I do not believe in using, so I tend to avoid pre-workout mainly because it's a product, and I try not to, to consume products. I try to stick to whole foods. I don't drink coffee, again, because I'm a Mormon, and we don't drink coffee. Um, energy drinks I do drink on occasion, mostly because I don't get any sleep raising my nine kids, and so sometimes I need to pick me up, but I'm not really doing it to um, supplement my weight loss journey or to help me in the gym or anything like that. I love coffee. So I've been drinking coffee since I was nine, ten years old. Uh, I had an older cousin and he and I would sit down at the kitchen table and drink coffee and chat about our day. <laughs> I don't know why I was 10 doing that. I think I was an older spirit at the time. Now I'm like a kid. But, um, but I love coffee. I drink, it, I drink my keto coffee every morning after my workout. Um, and it, it really helps to uh, satisfy me in the mornings, if, especially if I'm doing intermittent fasting uh, along with my keto, which I tend to do um, when I'm really in a push to lose a little more weight. So I definitely do um, love, love, love my coffee. And I mean, it's, it's awesome to be able to drink the keto coffee when you're in ketosis. So that's my thing. Number eight, what in life makes you happy? So what makes me happy is my family, of course. Um, as I mentioned, I've got a husband. Oh, I love my husband. He's, he's the most amazing man I've ever met, honestly. And this isn't a, oh, I love my husband show. So I just wanted to highlight that, put that out there. I won't talk about him too much. <laughs> He is the greatest, honestly. Um, and then my four kids, our, my four kids, our four kids. Um, I adore them. I love everything about our kids. I mean, we, we spend so much time together and, you know, um, we go to their different activities um, and, and I really enjoy that. 
you know, we have family game night where we'll play either, you know, Monopoly or Life. Like we pull out the old school games and we're teaching our kids those games as well. So we have a lot of fun family time together. So that's one of the things that, that makes me the happiest. The other thing is travel. I love to travel. So um, back when, back before we had children, I used to go to, um, to, you know, a different country every year. I'd always go to London every year because I had family there and then I'd go to one other country. And we just loved it. We'd see new sites, enjoy different cultures. It was so much fun, it was incredible. Um, and it's just something I've always loved doing. I haven't been able to travel as much recently because it's tough to travel for kids and also being 330 pounds almost, it's really hard to, to sit in the car that long or you know, on the plane, I'd always need a seatbelt extender or something that was going to, um, or my knees would be crushed in the seat in front of me. So it was just too much for me, honestly. But now that I've lost the weight and the kids have gotten a little older, we're gonna start traveling again. So I can't wait to show my kids, you know, different cultures that I've already seen and explore new places with them. So that's what excites me. The thing that makes me the happiest in my life is helping others. And that's part of the reason that I wanted to do this collab with Ailika because both of us have some really great ideas on how to be successful in a weight loss journey. And whenever I see somebody losing weight because of advice I gave them, it literally makes my heart squeeze. I love it. It's the whole reason I created this YouTube channel and it's the whole reason I, am, I feel like I'm on the earth. Secondly, of course, my family, but mostly watching my little girls dance. When I watch my kids on stage, it just makes this mama's heart sing. And that's why I spend so many days at the dance studio. You'll see if you watch my channel that I spend six days a week at a dance studio with my girls. And I wouldn't do it if I didn't love every second of it. Question number nine. What country would you live in if you could choose? Wow, that's really tricky. The only other country that I've ever actually been to is India. And while I loved being there, I definitely would not want to live there. It's a tough life. Um, I think maybe Ireland or Scotland, somewhere lovely and green. I think that would be a pleasant place to live. But honestly, I, live, I love living where I live. I love living in the good old USA and living here in Utah with the beautiful mountains. It's a great place to live. And I feel like I love my freedoms and I love being able to say whatever I want here on YouTube. And that makes life great. So I think I'll stick with the good old USA. So I'm gonna choose here, the USA. You know, I really like it here. You know, I've been to several other countries, but I don't, I think I'd stay here full time. That said, I'd probably spend six months of the year split between the Netherlands, Amsterdam mainly, and, um, and Italy. Uh, likely um, Capri if I could. <laughs> I really, really love Capri. It was one of the most beautiful places I'd ever been to. Um, so I love Italy. It's one of my favorite countries to visit. I've been to several cities in Italy and I really love Amsterdam. It's so calm and chill and there's so much culture in both Italy and Amsterdam. But it's like the things that I'd never seen or never thought I would see, like the Anne Frank house in Amsterdam. Um, it's just it's just things that you, you, growing up, you think, man, I'd love to go here, but you never actually do. You know, you never think that you're going to fully. And it's like to see those different places also has always been awesome to me. So. Those are the places I probably live half the year, but I definitely stay full time in the US. Question number 10. How has the journey changed your life? So it's changed my life in so many exciting and inspiring ways for me, honestly. Um, just being able to do the things with my family that I wasn't able to do before. Just looking at my kids, look at me. You know, my son said the other day, we were doing a Facebook um, questionnaire, you know, one of those kind of, you ask your kids things about you, right? And so I asked him, you know, it, one of the questions was, what's mommy's favorite thing to do? And he said, you know, besides hang out with us, because um, that's your favorite mommy, exercising, you really love exercising. And I thought, man, that's a huge, huge change in my family because that's not something that anyone would have said about me before. So, I mean, that brought so much joy to me. Honestly, I'm about to cry. Okay, no, let me stop before I start crying. It's changed me so much and I am so much happier. I feel so much better. And I know that I have helped to build a foundation of good health for my kids. And that's what's really important to me. I mean, in every 
way you can possibly imagine my life has changed because I've lost weight. I'm a better human being. I'm a better mother. I'm more active. I'm more involved in my kids' lives. I'm more involved with my husband. I'm calm. I, my emotions are more in check. My depression has decreased. My anxiety has decreased. I'm able to do more things. I'm able to be here on YouTube talking to you guys and telling you how great it will be when you finally lose the weight. The, my weight loss journey is changing everything about my life every single second. I'm so grateful that I have found something that works for me finally after 43 years of life. I feel like I've been struggling my whole life. I've been overweight since I was 10. So for the last 33 years, I've been trying to find the answer and I finally feel like I have. And all I want to do is share it with everybody because it has changed everything about my life. So thank you so much to Ailika. It was her idea to do this awesome collab. I hope that you guys have learned something from both of us and that you can maybe take a little bit from her and a little bit from me and make your weight loss journey happen. I'm so excited that you were here and I hope you will subscribe if you haven't already and you will mash that like button and let us know that if you like this kind of thing, maybe we could do something similar in the future. So thanks so much for hanging out with us. We appreciate it and it means so much to us. Thank you so much and we'll talk